everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any tags, so I thought I would tackle one that I was tagged in quite some time ago. This is the Your Life in Books tag, and it was created by Danny on Books, and I was tagged by Vepke over at One Book, One Review. Um, there are eight questions or tasks that you have to do for this tag, and I'll be referring to my notes from time to time, so you'll be looking down. Um, the first one is find books on your shelves that correspond with the initials of your name. Uh, the initials of mine are S and M, so I actually went with two ARC copies I have of books that have already been released and they've just been sitting on my shelves. I desperately want to read these, but you know, there's such a long list of things to read that I unfortunately haven't gotten to them yet. But the first one is Splintered, and this is by A.G. Howard. It's sort of a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, and this cover is absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it. And this came out in January, so it's been sitting there for a bit. And for the M, I went with Mila 2.0 by Deborah Driza. This is about um, a, a girl that was, it says, it's sort of like a teenage born identity uh, story, but a girl that's created in a science lab, and we don't know what reason she's created yet, and she finds out about herself and tries to escape from people that are trying to terminate her. Sounds super cool. This came out in March of this year. The next uh, question is, or task rather, is to count your age along your bookshelves, and which book is it? Um, currently 48, so I had quite a few to count through, and I came across uh, Scorch. This is the second book in the um, Croak series by Gina D'Amico. Absolutely love the first one. It's about a girl that comes to discover that she is a Grim Reaper. Um, all of them have these awesome shiny covers, and actually I think the third book's out already too, so I'm looking forward to getting tucked into this one soon. The third task is pick a book set in your city, state, or country. Um, being a, a resident of the suburbs of Chicago, I had to go with Divergent by Veronica Roth. Dystopian, set in the city. Awesome, awesome book. Can't wait for the movie. Uh, next one, pick a book that uh, represents a destination you would like to travel to. I actually have two. Um, not two destinations, but two books. Uh, I would love to go to the UK. My first book uh, I chose was The Enemy by Charlie Higson. Um, not that I necessarily want to go to a zombie-infested London, but definitely would like to see London. And I also went with God Save the Queen by Katie Locke, um, or Kate Locke. Not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, and this one is sort of a steampunk kind of sci-fi-ish strange book. I haven't had a chance to read either one of these two yet. But apparently, um, the queen is a vampire. <laughs> so she's undead. So, yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily those versions of the UK, but, you know, just like to go there. The next one is pick a book that's your favorite color. And my favorite color is yellow. So I went with The Black Hope Enigma by Teresa Flavin. I'm not sure if I forgot now if this is supposed to be a YA or a middle grade. Um, but it was totally a cover buy at a used. Uh, sale at the library. I just fell in love with it, and um, yeah, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I definitely hope to soon. The next one is, which book do you have the fondest memories of? For that, I had no choice. I had to go with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, this is the first book in the Harry Potter series, and I chose the first book just because it was the first one that introduces you to the world of Harry Potter and Hogwarts and um, traveling to Diagon Alley with Hagrid and um, Harry's first experience of all that, going to Ollivander's, picking a wand. It just makes you feel like a kid and you, how much you'd love to be in that situation and experiencing all this for the first time. Uh, I just had really great memories of reading that, so that was my choice. Uh, which book did you have the most difficulty reading? Uh, there's been a couple that I no longer have with me. Um, Catch-22 by Joseph Teller. That was a uh, one I just could not finish. It just kind of kept dragging on. Um, the House of Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne was overly descriptive to the point where I just couldn't even tell what the story was about anymore. And for one that I still have in my possession, that would have to be The House of Secrets by Chris Columbus and Ed Vizzini. Um I think this is geared maybe kind of like upper middle grade, but the level of violence in this just seems unsuitable. And I thought the three main characters were extremely whiny and annoying. And finally, the last one is, which book in your TBR pile will give you the biggest sense of accomplishment when you finish it? Again, I'm kind of cheating. I'm picking two books. Um, one of the books I don't actually have in my possession, 
This is a book that has been on my radar for quite some time, and I would really, really like to read it, but I'm extremely intimidated by the format of the book. It's totally crazy. It's an adult, I don't know if you would call it fiction or fantasy, but um, it's it, the format of the book is it's filled with footnotes. Sometimes the text might be just one word on a page, or it'll travel down the page. It'll run backwards. You might have to hold it in front of a mirror. Um, it's House of Leaves by Daniel, or sorry, Mark Z. Danieluski, and I'll show a picture of it for you. Now, I'm not even going to begin to describe the plot for this book. I would suggest you go check it out on Goodreads, or better yet, I'm going to put a link to Vebke's review. She just recently posted it, and I'll put a link down below. Excellent review, spoiler-free and everything, but she really kind of breaks apart the book and describes what it's all about. And it sounds really, really cool, but like I said, I'm just totally intimidated by the format of it. One day I'll just say that's it, I've got to finish it, I just got to tackle it and everything. But in terms of books that I have in my possession, um, for the one that would probably give me the greatest sense of accomplishment, because it's just been there a while, and it's one of my favorite movies is based on the book, and that's Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. This is just an old beat-up copy I picked up at a library. Um, I have a real nice um, leather-bound edition of it, but I don't really want to pick that one up and read it, so I just got this one for like a quarter. But I love the movie, um, the series of movies, I have to say. The first and the third, not so much the second. But I, I want to s compare it to the book. Um, there's so many of his um, books that have been made into movies. The Andromeda Strain, also an excellent movie, one of my favorites like from back in the 70s, but uh, the original movie, not the remake. But I never read the book. Um, I think Sphere is another one, Congo. But this is number one on my list, so I will definitely feel accomplished if I finally read this book. So that is the, your Life in Books tag. I want to thank Dubkey for um, tagging me and Danny on Books for creating this tag. Um, I'm not going to tag anybody specifically. If you're watching this, consider yourself tagged. I know a lot of people have done this already. Like I said, I think I was tagged back in July, so... I'm a little bit behind, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys decided to give it a try, and thanks for watching. Happy reading.